Hi everyone, hope they're having a good day. My name's Andy, my channel's Finding Value. Today we're going to go into our daily technical analysis update of commodities. We're gonna work our way through the dollar yields, precious metals, and commodities ETFs that I follow. Uh, if you need any help, definitely hop over to finding-value.com. We do have a discount going on called Happy Birthday. My birthday is coming up very soon, and you can get a discount from it for the first month, 50% off. All right, guys, let's see what's going on in the markets today. I'll give you my financial opinions, and we'll dive right into it right now. So the dollar here, we've got massive selling pressure here and here recently with no real bounce in this dollar here. So if we look and we zoom in, <laughs> there's just not really any bounce here. So I don't see a bounce in the DXY uh, in the short term yet. Uh, and we could still see this momentum carry us to the downside on the longer term. Yields are conflicting. I mean, it, it, this is a difficult read on yields. Uh, if the dollar's heading lower, generally speaking, yields would head lower as well. But when we look into this, you know, we've got the strong selling pressure move here. We've got a decent bounce here. Are we going to get a bounce in the short term to the upside? Or is it going to be just strong selling pressure? Uh, it looks like we could get a bounce in the short term to the upside, which means the dollar might bounce a little bit too. But we'll have to see what it looks like. We just don't really see an immaculate bounce yet. We do have what could be considered a bloody nose, uh, which is a small selling pressure profit taking day. Uh, and we could resume higher. But we're going to have to see what that looks like over the next few trading sessions. The 10 year is bouncing off support, but we've got one heck of a selling pressure momentum lead into this. So there we are. We're right on support. Again, I think over the next few trading days, we'll have to find out what exactly this is going to do. The 30 year yield. This is broken to the upside of this downtrend line, and it's kind of been meandering a little bit higher. Again, we've got momentum to the downside, and that could continue. So the TYX-TNX ratio, uh, this is a ratio basically saying that the curve is uninverting if it's going on up. Uh, I think that could potentially head higher, which means lower dollar, lower yields, and a curve that could uninvert to some degree, which is a huge tailwind behind precious metals. Uh, but today, we were basically flat, so precious metals most likely will be flat. Bond prices also flat, uh, but it looks like we've got a good dig out of the bottom here, and the momentum could continue to the upside uh, after this little pullback is complete. And I don't know if it's complete, you know, this second, but maybe a day or two longer, uh, or we can just rip it to the upside. Gold uh, trading sideways. Uh, to me, this still looks really good for a rip higher. Uh, that would also be further evidence that yields could fall a little bit and that the yield curve would uninvert. Uh, so that is what all the evidence is pointing to and suggesting to uh, our higher precious metals prices, a little bit weaker dollar. Uh, and a curve that uninverts and potentially lowers yields coming back down. Silver heading a little bit lower, but again, guys, if this was going to rip it to the downside, we'd see some strong selling pressure here. Um, the pressure's not there, at least not yet. Uh, I am still inclined to think that this momentum can continue higher. Uh, it looks very good from a longer term perspective here where I think this could be a big breakout and a big move to the upside. Platinum heading a little bit higher today, up uh, about seven bucks or so. Still looks good to go on up. Still looks very strong. XEU to gold ratio, uh, it still looks good in my view. Uh, from this perspective, it's a little, I call it a little bloody nose. Generally, they work their way higher. We are getting very close to a long downtrend line breakout. On the monthlies, this looks like it could try at some point here in the short term to try to break through it. If we break through it, what that means is that the gold and silver mining companies are going to outperform gold. 
And if you notice, all of the precious metals itself looks like it could go higher. Uh, another thing that we would see is positioning in gold and silver mining companies uh, if that were to occur. And we did see that occur today. And we saw a slight outperformance today of gold and silver mining companies. So everything looks pretty good uh, for that to continue. CRB index down some today, but I just think that's a return move. Uh, I do think that this is going to work its way on up. Uh, I don't see any bearish candlesticks necessarily in a lot of the commodity, um, like precious metals and commodity sectors. And we can go through that here right now. Uh, CRB to S&P 500, the S&P is still ripping it. This trend is still intact until it isn't. Uh, but right now, the ratio continues to pull down. This is a double top. And at some point, we are going to bottom and put in a bottom process and work our way back up. That is my uh, take on that. GDX uh, outperforming the metal itself. Still looking all right for a potential move to the upside. If the sellers were here, they would have pushed this lower, but they didn't. So uh, I think that we could still see some upside. I think that is the correct direction of grindage. GDXJ, it's the same thing. We, we gapped lower in the morning and the momentum came back up throughout the day. I think we are going to go higher. I think it looks really good. SILJ, uh, exact same thing. Bullish engulfing looks like it wants to roll on higher. SILJ is one of the cheapest ETFs uh, on a ratio basis. Crude oil down 1.72. This just looks like a kind of a return move. Uh, I talked about this last time where we could come and head lower. We're getting that return move. Uh, I think we're going to probably back test somewhere where that circle is, and then we could potentially rip. Uh, one thing that I remain bullish on, which obviously is crude oil, I remain bullish because we're seeing positioning in XOP and OIH. Uh, that kind of front runs the price of oil and nat gas sometimes. And we are seeing that. Nat gas down a little bit, but you know we're not getting a ton of selling pressure here, guys. They're all just little candlesticks. So I think we're going to see some buying pressure at some point. And we'll, we'll start to levitate to the upside. So XOP, yeah, you know me. Uh, what we did here is we came back down. We gapped down lower. The momentum's coming back up. I can show you what that looks like. Here's the five-day candlesticks. You can see we came back down. We basically put in a shoulder head shoulder, and we're doing a retest right there, and it makes, it makes me think that we could potentially head higher in the short term. That would actually be a good entry point uh, if you're looking. And this is also why I remain bullish is because people are still accumulating the ETFs, uh, even though crude oil was down today. Uh, OIH also uh, getting that nice bullish engulfing, bullish piercing pattern. It gapped down in the morning and then worked its way on up uh, throughout the day. Uh, those are very strong days and they generally work their way higher over time. Uh, so it looks good for OIH. And on the long term basis, guys, look at this thing. It is a beast. Let's rip this thing with OIH. Uh, let's hope oil participates in this because I think OAH is going to have a very big move. And uh, if you guys are interested in the individual companies, definitely check out finding-value.com because we have a lot of energy service related companies that I think will do incredibly well when this thing starts to rip it. Sprout Physical Uranium Trust up 1.67%. Pretty good day. Uh, we're getting down to that support level. We are getting that support that we need. And let's hope the momentum can rip it here. That is a bullish piercing pattern uh, where the candlestick opened below the opening price and worked its way up above the 50th percentile. It just means that it's a downtrend break if you were to basically draw a trend line, that it's broken that trend line and it's ready to move higher, looking at it from a short term perspective. Coming back out to URA, going to be running is what URA is going to do. It looks really good. Uh, we've got the breakout, the retest, and today we gapped lower, but the momentum came back up. Buyers came and pushed that back higher. I still think this looks fantastic for.
for a big move higher. Uh, again, sometimes these like to grind sideways for a little while. Uh, you know, this is this is an accumulation area for me. Put it that way. URNM doing the same uh, thing. Same thing. We're coming up. We're just underneath that breakout area. Uh, all we need to do is bust out above this for happiness in the uranium lamp. So we're real close to a break in uranium for URNM. Uh, URA is kind of already broken out, and uh, UR, URNJ. I mean, this is just lagging behind. This is just the junior companies. I am hoping that URNJ rips it. Why? Well, I mean, obviously, it's pretty obvious, guys. I own URNJ. Got a good, decent chunk in there for an ETF, and hopefully the money rotation comes here over the next week or two, even. Uh, TAN. So I've talked about TAN quite a bit. I said TAN is uh, forming this big old pattern, right? We've got a pattern on the left, just like the pattern on the right, split it in half. This side is going to look like this side when it goes back up. Well, we're getting that buying pressure now, and I think we are close to uh, liftoff, hopefully. This is a bullish engulfing that we got today. I think we're going higher. I know a lot of people, oh, it has, how come this hasn't gone yet? How come? Guys, those are really bad questions. Um, what you need to say is, look, we are squeezing up. We're squeezing up. We entered the dead period that we talk about all the time. The dead periods where the buyers equal the sellers. And then what you do is you get a nice little, you know, it's a good entry point. I buy into it and then you just wait. You just wait for it to take off. Uh, even if it dips a little bit, I still think we're going higher based off of the way that this pattern has broken, the way that it's consolidated. I think we're going higher no matter what. Uh, that's my opinion. I'm, I'm not saying no matter It has a high likelihood of going higher. I'll have to correct myself there. Uh, COPX, we've got um, down a little bit today, but again, we're still in this channel, just working our way sideways up and down all, all over the place. Lithium down a little bit. Uh, I still think this is going to grind higher. It looks fantastic to move on up. Uh, same with REMX. We're down a little bit today, but we are going to grindage our way higher edge. Uh, so again, we're in a good location. I think we are going to move on up. We've broken it, the pattern to the upside. It is a falling wedge. Those are pretty reliable and break to the upside uh, for the statistical probability to be vastly in our favor. The S&P 500 continuing to move on up. I see no indication that this is going to change in the short term. Uh, I think we're going higher for longer. Uh, NASDAQ is also looking to move on higher, and I don't see any indication in the charts uh, that that is going to change anytime soon. Uh, and I'll let you know what I, when I see it. Uh, emerging markets, it looks like it wants to continue higher. Uh, weaker dollar, weaker yields, stronger emerging markets. Bullish engulfing uh, with a little bit of, a, or bullish piercing with a little bit of a uh, wick on the bottom. So that's a hammer candlestick. Looks good. XHB also working its way on up. Looks fantastic. Most everything looks very strong here. We've got... Um, the fertilizer, agribusiness, kind of all those ag companies still looks good to move up. I like the way that the candlesticks look down here. Very strong, good consolidation. Uh, I think we're going to move on up. Uh, copper, we are moving sideways. You can even put a kind of a trend line down there. Uh, and I think right now we're bouncing between support and resistance. It's squeezing up. Iron ore still looking good to move on up. <clears throat> Falling wedge breakout, breakout, there's your low, and I think we're going to move on up by looking at the candlesticks and all of the large green candlesticks in that area over there. Nickel moving higher. Um, nickel right up, well, it's right around support resistance, uh, but it looks all right, and we'll see where it goes from there. Uh, aluminum down a little bit. It's a bloody nose in the short term. I think we are heading higher for aluminum over the longer period. This looks fantastic to move on up. Not much selling pressure. Baltic dry index down a little bit, but again, I think we're going to move on up. These all look good to move higher. Falling wedge, broken to the upside, higher low. On and on and on. Looks great. Newcastle coal futures. 
Uh, we're down 1.75% for coal. And to me, I think it's going to consolidate a little bit longer and try to put in a bottom if this decides to show up. Looks like it doesn't want to show up. Bitcoin. So Bitcoin still looks good to move on higher. Uh, I think we are going to rip it at some point, and we're just in a flag pattern at the moment. And then we have Ethereum that's also down a little bit. But uh, with Bitcoin being as strong as it is, uh, I still think Ethereum could move higher as well, given the strength of Bitcoin. It doesn't look like my things are loading up here. We are incredibly hot right now. So maybe that's why some of these are taking a little bit of time to show up because it is really hot uh, outside. And right now, I'm in a room that doesn't have AC. So I think things are kind of fine up here. That's what I've got for today, guys. Uh, thumb up for the content. Subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the website. Uh, again, we've got birthday. Um, happy birthday is the discount coupon code. See you. All right, guys. Uh, we'll catch you later. This is Finding Value.